Joe Pugliese with us here in the John Mandola Show at Dallas area. Uh, girls tennis, uh, boy successful spring with the guys. Yes. And now you get over to the ladies' side. Let's talk about this uh, uh, season here in the fall. We're kicking it off. Okay. And how excited are you? Oh, uh, it's you know this getting into the school year and and starting off with this. Uh, it's we've been working so hard during the summer with off season things like that. It's it's great to finally get to a point where you're playing matches. Let's talk about the experience coming back for this season. What do you have? Well, we don't have much experience coming back. We only have two starters coming back. Um, but we have about four girls that were just about ready to break in the starting lineup last year, okay? So they've been able to step into some of the, the, the key roles into the team this year. So we should do all right. A lot of times with tennis, it's what the girls do in the off season or the guys for that yeah. matter. And yeah. they're playing at clubs and doing different things. So right. have these girls been pretty active over the summer? It's very active. Uh, they, over the summer, they have we have some come and play dates where the and, uh, boys and girls team members will come and they'll play uh, some evenings during the week. So they keep in touch with that. Some of them will take lessons over the summer. So they've been pretty active with that kind of stuff. It gets hard or difficult for a first year player to get into the singles, but maybe they could be successful over on the double side. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they just grow over the years. With, as far as your philosophy and, and seeing some of these young ladies, maybe they're trying it their ninth grade year and just yeah. getting their feet wet. Absolutely. I mean, we got some young girls that are coming in as freshmen and sophomores that, you know, they already have a decent game, okay? So they have the, the, you know, the chance to break in as doubles and even possibly make it up to the singles, all right? We even have one senior who came in only a second year on the team, and I've already had her in the singles position, okay? May not stay there because some of the other girls are coming back that I haven't been here yet, but uh, it worked out so far. Let's talk about some of the competition in the league, what you expect this year or the fall of 2022. Well, it's, uh, Sam is going to be really tough. Uh, all right, they got all three singles players back at the state championship team. Um, the Holy Redeemer usually does pretty well. Uh, Wyoming area has all their starters back. Um, so there'll be some, some good competition over the season. I'm sure part of the job you love is just being around these young ladies and, you know, in the spring yeah. it's with the guys. And, Right. and just seeing them get better as the season goes on. Right. Talk about this group here at Dallas and you know, just being positive with them and, and seeing them manage being a student and an athlete. Yeah, it's well, that's the toughest part, okay? And with, with the later, the, the juniors and the seniors are also working now. So, you know, trying to balance all that between their schoolwork and tennis work and, you know, having a job and everything, it's, it's a tough balance act, okay? But, you know, they managed to do it, and I think it makes them better people. Coach, always great to see you. We wish right. you a successful season. Thanks, John.